Yeah, now, if you're looking for uh, things to keep the family, particularly the kids, entertained during half term, uh, particularly if you're on a budget, Georgina Burnett has the very thing. Oh, she look. is our home what's, what's genie. That? What's that? Oh, 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 that's a fancy bubble blower. Did you, did you improvise that with was, that? That was just for you. Yeah, did you? Did you just? <laughs> I did. Improvise? I didn't make that one. I have to tell you. That's a very good. Uh, yeah. I wanted to do it just for you, Eamon. You said yeah. you love bubbles. I wanted Aww. to bring it to you. We always used to get washing up liquid and and uh, fiddle about with something like that. Blow it through yeah. kitchen utensils. Yeah. <laughs> You can actually do it with you toilet rolls. Did you know you can blow days. bubbles with toilet rolls as well? Yeah, yeah. You can blow yeah. bubble with toilet roll. Yeah. Do lots of things. Well, yeah. The, the inner tube, you can oh. do it. OK. <laughs> and talking of toilet rolls, I'm always making something out of toilet rolls. Um, I've got a bug hotel here for you. Um, now, this one is, is obviously very basic. It's one of those things you'll be able to pretty much leave the kids to do. And all I've used, mine is made out of plastic milk bottle, but you could use orange juice bottles, water bottles, that kind of thing. And I've cut the front out, so you might need to give them a hand with that. But then I just literally put toilet tr roll tubes inside there. Um, I've wrapped up a little bit of packaging paper into because the smaller bugs like to be nice and cosy and then you put a bit of greenery in there and just place it somewhere in a bush. And it's so exciting to see what's moved in. I'll have to say, I've actually stayed in worse B&Bs than that as well. Mm -hmm. um, next up, we, we catered for the bugs in the garden and now we move on to the birds. So I actually outsourced this one. It's the um, my Lego bird feeder. I outsourced this one to my husband because he got so excited when I talked about the fact we were going to be doing this. Um, and he's done a very good job, I have to say. Um, it's got little perches that come out here. He's even made a uh, little lid so I can pour the bird seed in there. And then all you can do is just like, put it outside or hang it from a tree. If you've got a cat, you might want to hang it up higher. And I think that's quite cool and it's quite bright and cheery. And of course, that is something that all the kiddies can do. It's quite nice to have some things that you can just leave them to do as opposed to actually having to, uh, to sit there with them. This one, um, a very simple design for a bird feeder, just made out of a tin can. You paint it. You obviously need to make sure it's exterior proof, so you might want to put a, an exterior varnish over the, uh, over the top. Um, inside, I have glued... This is actually a marshmallow toasting stick that I've got, but you could just glue a stick or a pencil or something like that because they need something to perch on. And then I've used a ribbon just to hang it. But I think you could do quite a few of those in a tree, and it's quite a cute idea, uh, very easy to do as well. Of course, many of these things are out of items that you already have might even be throwing away um, so for this one here I think this is nice it's nicer for the older ones it's uh, for a, stain, a stained glass window I've cut it out of a card um, you cut the little holes and actually it's sweetie wrappers I've used so I've flattened them out and then if you have a look at the back you see just you don't have to be so careful about how you do these bits you just glue them on with some crafting glue and they look gorgeous in the window or behind a light so that's quite a nice one um, maybe for the slightly older kids because just cutting the um, the shapes that you need a craft knife for that now can I introduce you to Ruth and Avon please <laughs> here you go um, this is one. <laughs> this is one of those very cute ones that never throw away egg boxes. There's so much you can do with egg boxes. Um, so all you have to do with these is cut out one of the dimples. Um, I've just painted it with some kiddies poster paints, nothing fancy, and then pipe cleaners I've used to make the eyes. I'm not sure that snails actually have eyes do they but you literally just twist that around there I've glued some little plastic eyes that I had on there but you could make those out of card obviously and then you slot that in through the um in through the dimple and glue it in place and I think they're really cute but that's something that you could do very easily with younger kids um or leave them to do it on their own I want to do a very quick demo for you here because I'm very excited about marbling these are some marbled bookmarks I've made. Now I've used, you know, you get these hard envelopes uh, in the post. Um, what I've done is I cut out a bookmark shape and made a hole in the top. Um, and then I've used old nail varnishes. You know when they get to the bottom and they're kind of, they're no good to actually use as nail varnishes anymore. I've got a little tub of water. This is obviously a crafting tub. You wouldn't want to use this for food. And I'm using my old um, nail polishes here just to plunk in the top there. Of course, because it's... Um, it's waterproof nail varnish. It just kind of stays on the top. And then, although that looks like a mess, what you do now is you just kind of do a little bit of a pattern with the, um, I don't know if you can see that, with the paintbrush. And you dip the card in. And because it's waterproof, it then lifts up the design and it sticks to the card. 
so it won't anywhere near as well as it does. There you go. And you're getting this lovely design um, on your bookmark. And it has almost like a leathery feel once it's all dried. But some gorgeous kind of designs that I've been able to do with that one there. And again, I think that's quite a nice one. It's a little bit messy. You do want to either wear gloves or have um, some nail polish remover with you. Um, and then this one is, uh, I think, one to either do with the kiddies or do um, you can play with them afterwards. It's a marble maze. Now, what we've got here is a lid to a gift box that I've got. And I've just glued some pipe cleaners, but you might be able to do it with some pasta, um, uh, sort of uh, shapes and all that kind of thing. And you glue it in place and then have lots of fun. And I think depending on the age of the kids, you could say the, the race is to get to the end, <laughs> whoops, the race is to get to the end um, in a certain amount of time. So you can kind of cater for the different age groups as well. This final one is probably a bit more for the younger ones, I would say. So you just literally make um, these shapes out of um, cardboard, the little fish shapes, and then you can get the youngsters to colour them in. I then just taped a magnet to a piece of string, which I then put onto a um, skewer. And you've got a, a little paper clip at the end there, which obviously allows it to be magnetic. And then you can kind of do a little, this is great actually for sort of dexterity and all that kind of thing in the youngsters. And you can maybe do a competition. Oh, I've done really well there. So that's the best I've ever done with fishing. And then one that actually suits all ages here is, um, I'm going to call it sock toss for, better, for want of a better phrase. Sock I've literally just cut some holes out of here. Now sock. you might use a bean... Sock what? <laughs> You might, well, because you normally call it beanbag toss, but I kind of thought how many people have a bean, have bean bags in their house? Mm. So instead, I've rolled up some socks. Oh, right. <laughs> and um, you just have to kind of throw them in there. Do you get it now? <laughs> get it. And that's a really, that's one that can go across all the ages. How you think them up, Georgina. It's absolutely incredible. They'll be Christmas bestsellers, so they will. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> my favourite was, so sure favorite was the fishing <laughs> game. You. My favourite was the fishing game. I like that because it's very it, therapeutic trying to do that. It is cute. It's cute, isn't very it? Very cute. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, definitely. Georgina. <laughs>